I'm Alex Powers, this is Big Mike. I've been a strength and conditioning coach, physical prep coach, personal trainer, whatever you want to call me, for over 10 years now. Um, I've trained everybody from three-year-olds working on gross motor skills all the way up to NFL athletes and everything in between. Mike, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm originally from Youngstown, Ohio. played football there. I played football until senior year, power lifted during all that time. That's what got me started in my lifting career. I was a fat pudgy kid in sixth grade, but did jump stretch, and uh, and then I was a size ninth grade. It was freaking crazy. And then everyone caught up to me, and it was Sorry. downhill from there. <laughs> the rest of this week. Yeah. But uh, and then college and stuff, I just kind of dabbled in lifting. And then after college, I got back into powerlifting and finally made my way here and plan to stay. Okay. What, um, so you said that you started jump stretch when you were in sixth grade? Is that really like what started sixth your lifting career? Sixth or seventh, yeah. Is that really what started your lifting yeah. career? Yeah, yeah. What, so in sixth grade you started that. What happened seventh and eighth grade? Did you start lifting? Did you really start like when you were in high school? Like what happened? Well, let's see, so I did jump stretch. It was in a kind of a room like this. I mean, they had those bands around our waist and we could just do sprints. It was, it was insane. I went from a pudgy kid, 150 pounds to like 185, 190 pounds in seventh or eighth grade. And I was just cut. I had a six pack, uh, but then the lineman jeans kicked in. And then uh, and then now you're, you're, I was literally this size ninth grade. And, and puberty just was, uh, but then, like I said, everyone caught up with me and, <laughs> and they beat the crap out of me my senior year. But uh, anyway, so, uh, but yeah, jump stretch started it. That was fun and all. We didn't, I didn't touch any weights till about eighth grade and even then I just kind of dabbled in stuff. Didn't really, it was mainly machine work. But then once, uh, once I started training for freshman year of football, that's when I was like, you know what, they all lift. I better start lifting. I started to, and then just made it happen from there. What, um, so you said you started jump stretch, you did that, you got really lean. What, like, what made you even start that? Was it sports related, or were you like, I just want to be better than everybody else, or was it just like a group of your friends that just were like, hey, like, we got this thing? Yeah, well, I would say I had a buddy named Caleb who was in incredible shape, and he was like a star athlete, and uh, he ended up going to college for, for track and we were friends and there was a significant difference in his physique and mine. And I was like, well, I'm tired of looking like this. I want to look like that. And uh, couple that with just wanting to be in sports also. I just want to be in good shape for football, for track, play baseball. And then, you know, it's really just wanting to look good and feel good and be able to use my body the way I want to. Yeah. So it's funny you say that. So I remember the first time I lifted, like ever, right? I was in it was a, it was in my friend's barn. Okay, of course, naturally a bench press because it's what every kid wants to do right off the bat, right? I think I was probably seventh or eighth grade. I remember everybody was just all about like how much do you bench? How much do you bench? Like you know that was like that's a stereotypical macho thing, right? Of course. So. You know, we're, we're in this bar and everybody, everybody's just like, you know, the bar and everything else. Everybody can do the bar, it's cool. You throw those tins on there, it starts getting a little bit more serious, right? Man, I don't know what it was, but the second those 25s went on, like, it just was like, shoo! <laughs> it was not coming up, right? <laughs> like, literally every ounce of like, whatever I thought I had, like, I could not get that. I think that's really what pissed me off the most and like, where I was like, you know what, like, I should probably start doing this. This is kind of a, like, this is gonna be needed, right? Yeah. For high school sports and everything. So. Well, didn't Bryce just have that problem last week with the 25? He did, actually. Yeah. He did. We're gonna have him on soon. Yeah. So we're gonna call him out, expose him. He needs to learn. Yeah. He'll, he'll see this later. Bryce, we still love you. It's okay, you got exposed by the 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, we, uh, I played basketball all the time, right? I played for 18 years. So I was a string bean, tiny. I was always like, I was a point guard, shooting guard, right? So for me, we ran off all our muscle. Like basketball players, like weight training, what? Like, you know, that was just not even a thing. High school, I got caught my freshman year. So I was like, okay, I need to do everything in my human ability to make this team, right? I started weightlifting, hired a personal trainer. I had a shooting coach, I was busting my ass. Like six days a week, I was going balls to the walls, right? And it was so funny because like, I hated, hated, 
barbell back squatting. Got exposed to front squatting and stuff like that. That was, you know, that athletically I think is a little bit more conducive to sport mm -hmm. relative to back squatting. I mean, you use your core, you use your upper back, right? But that's a safer movement. You know, that's what everybody goes to say. Anyway, come back, make make the team my next year, and ended up getting cut my junior year. Played my senior year. It was politics and everything else. Continued, went on to play college. Anyway, lifting, I swear to God, has really taught me a lot about life. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's all the same concepts. Like, if you work hard enough that you're gonna get to where you wanna go and everything else, Bryce, sorry, you gotta keep working. Is it weird? <laughs> We're taking shots that are not even here. Um, it is no, the same for us. Yeah, you would do the same. It's okay. Uh, we got a video tape of you guys getting into it one uh, time. Like, yeah. the, those yeah. jokes going back and forth. Okay. When he's on, we need the sensor. Like, that'll be good. Beep's going yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be bright soon, I promise. Um, anyway, there, like lifting really does teach you a lot about life. Like when you want to do something, all you have to do is put the work in and you'll achieve, right? Same thing. You want to look like Caleb, so you did, so you did that, right? How did you really transition? Like you mentioned the powerlifting thing. How did you transition from high school to college to now? Like I know you just joked the other day. Like I was like, dude, like weren't you at LA Fitness? You're like, no, dude, I was in my basement or like whatever you <laughs> said. Like, yeah. So, like how yeah. did you transition to here? Like what we have to say there. I'm, State of the art gym here, sorry, I can't talk. Which, we'll get some shots of that, you guys will see it on Instagram, YouTube, and everything else, but anyway, go ahead. So from high school to college to now? Yeah. Well, so you did your powerlifting thing, yep. like through high school, yep. and then what was the transition like after sports? Like, what did you do? That was tough because I wasn't I wasn't good enough to play in college. I, I mean, I I kind of knew that. Uh, sorry, the interior. No, I'm just oh. kidding. I just had some in my eye. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I did. I, and I was okay with that, but lifting I knew I was really good at, so that was kind of my sport. But but I also want to take college seriously, so I really focused on that hardcore. And I would go to the gym. There wasn't much powerlifting going on, but you know I'd bench, I'd I'd do some leg press throughout college, and and then it got really busy at the end. And I, by the end I was just doing calisthenics. I was probably like 40 to 50 pounds lighter than I am now. So, it, but it worked out, you know, I do cardio, you know, whatever. It was a really, it was a big maintenance phase, which is part of life too. You know, sometimes you're really going after your goals. Sometimes you gotta take it back some and just be like, you know what? I, I just had a kid or I just bought a house. And it's like, I need to chill out on some of the things I really enjoy. I can't go kayaking every day if my lawn's five feet tall, you know, <laughs> things like that. Uh, and then, but then after college, I moved here from Youngstown, here to Columbus and I eventually got a gym. Let's see, I first started at, I actually did start at LA Fitness, but went from LA Fitness to just doing calisthenics at home to Planet Fitness to just doing calisthenics at home during the pandemic. And then to here once I got sick of all the dumb rules. So here I am here and throughout all that time, Planet Fitness, you know, I do some squat and bench, but I, I just moved here, I was, Figuring things out, so I was only there for a few months. So they found the one one one? No, 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 this is LA Fitness. Oh, okay. Did I say Planet? I meant to say LA. Uh, I was at LA Fitness, I was only here, I was only here for like six months, but the biggest thing I liked about that was racquetball. Yeah. I, I love racquetball. Uh, That's actually a lot more intense than what people think of it. Man, you guys will see a video here of me sometimes sweating. You should see me in racquetball. Oh, they need to get a mop out so he didn't slip. Whew. But yeah, it is intense, and you have to wear eye protection. My gosh. Yeah, that ball comes in as you done it. Man, that, that, but that's a really fun game. Uh, yeah, so that was what I, I, I played with buddies and stuff in LA. I left there because I moved so far away. I moved out in the country, so I was like, I'm too far from a gym. So I just did like calisthenics and stuff, and then moved into close to the city when, once I got married. And then there's a gym like, f like 10 minutes from my house. It was a plan of fitness and I got tired of it. And then there's a gym even closer and I was like, ooh, this is great for powerlifting. So I started dabbling in it again. I do some deadlifts, I do some squats, some bench, uh, but it wasn't, I didn't take it as seriously as I do now. And uh, just cause I didn't have a spotter, I didn't have any buddies there. Everyone was like a lot older than me and it was a really, it was faster paced. It wasn't like a family kind of environment there. I'm sure it would have been eventually if I'd been there for a few years. But, uh, and then once, and then we moved from there, moved out here to New Albany. And then uh, I just lifted at home 
calisthenics once again, just because. Uh, Did you feel like you were able to maintain some of the strength that you had built, like when you were powerlifting during that calisthenic phase? I would say so because I mean I come back here so I did the calisthenics at home for a while and at the at the, uh, at the apartment gym there and then once I got once I realized I, I like was tired of just doing that it was getting boring I was like I need a gym so I looked this place up found it became a member and then really started like taking it way more seriously this is a hobby I love it I'm good at it it's fun and. I would say it seems like the gains I've been getting aren't, some's due to program, but some's just due to the fact that there's still a lot of prior muscle fibers and I, mean, I, don't, know muscle the fibers, yeah. Yeah, I don't know the whole physiology behind it, but there's still some stuff there that I remember, some stuff there that just never went away, uh, just cause I've always, I've always eaten enough, let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I would say the calisthenics were helpful. You know, they made it, they made it so I just, you know, didn't atrophy, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's really good. There's, I mean, there's always times that you kind of said it that you're gonna kind of ebb and flow, right? Like you're gonna have stressful times in your life and everything else. Like I was training hard five days a week. My son was born and my doctor's like, dude, like you're super high stress. Like you gotta take it down. And I had a back way off. I was doing three times a week. That literally drove me crazy. I'm super type A if you guys haven't noticed. And I like I had to just go back to four. Like I was like, okay, I can do four. Like I can't, you know. Yeah. And I've pretty much maintained that ever since. Obviously, like sickness, like whatever it may be. Even when like gyms were closed, like I was still fortunate enough to come in mine and still train and stuff like that. And that actually like I did a whole conglomerate during that, and I'll go over what I did too some other time. But you know, like it's all about really just working on like what you suck at, right? You know, like. If you go from lifting all the time and like you go to bodyweight exercise, you're like, shit, this is kind of like fatigue, you know what I mean? Like yeah, if you start doing oh, yeah. like high rep push-ups, high rep pull-ups, like squats, even like hinges, lunges or whatever, like you're eventually like those muscles are going to hypertrophy and do what they need to do. I mean, like not to be funny, look at like prisoners and stuff like that. Like yeah. they don't call them jail yard workouts for nothing, right? Yeah. You know, like that's all those guys do for eight hours a day. Um, but yeah. So that's all for today. We just wanted to kind of introduce ourselves, talk a little bit about lifting, give you guys some laughs, introduce Mike, uh, who you guys have not met yet. So anyway, that is the end of this table talk. We're gonna pick back up next week and uh, give you guys some new fun stuff. If there's anything you guys want us to talk about, or thinking about, please let us know. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know, give us feedback. We're here to entertain you guys, You know, spread our knowledge and uh, give you guys a little bit of humor in the process. We're gonna have guests on here too, um, our other listening partners too, uh, just to give you guys something different. And uh, like I said, just all the jokes and everything that go around, like our listening here, I think are pretty funny. So anyway, until next time, we appreciate you. Peace out.